Prophetic Hour. Receive this program with Prophet Passion Java. This program will bring you prophetic impartation, replication, and revelations that will change your life forever to encourage, inspire, and motivate you to keep marching toward your destiny. Prophetic Hour. Now receive this fresh word from Prophet Passion as it flows from the vials of heaven to saturate your soul. Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion Java. God bless everybody watching us today. This is the Prophet Passion Java bringing you another episode in Revelation to take you to another dimension in your Noah with this in your knowledge. I strongly believe God has a word for you and the reason why you are watching this video today is because God is answering your questions and He's answering your prayers and He's delivering you and setting you free that you may know that God has delivered you set you free and how you can be freed from anything you are going through and mainly we are going to talk about cases and today i have uh, the bishop joshua mchana in the building together with prophet israel matthew and we are going to talk mainly about the power of a case what is a case what does a case do how to end a case how to know that the case that was in my life is gone for good apostles and prophets bishops and pastors welcome amen thank you wow what, what what questions can you throw today so that someone that is watching us all on, on on the screen can able to be blessed can be able to feel that all my questions when it come to the subject of cases are gone Blessings, everybody. Um, the first question that I would want to pose to you, Prophet, is a general one. What really is a case? Because um, is it words or is it someone sending food? What really is a case? How can you explain what is a case? A case is the manifestation of words spoken into someone's life or into a family life yeah. that works through the mind. A case is a word spoken over someone or a family and those words are now manifesting through a mindset. For instance, if I, I, I'll give an example of a certain lady that we were delivering. She was a witch doctor and she said that people used to come to her if they dating a married man and they want the married man to leave the wife and come be with her. Uh, she would say, bring the picture of the man and bring the picture of the woman. Then I don't know what she would do with the picture of the man, but with the picture of the wife, she would take it and give instructions, bring this, bring this, and bring this, and let's go. Midnight, they'll go on a crossroad and they'll tell the, 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 the lady to, to be naked and then she, 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 she goes down and poop there and then they will light fire and then she will take the picture and she will take the poop and put poop all over the picture of the wife and speak words that your husband will smell you like poop your husband will look at you like looking at poop whatever words that she spoke she speaks then put it in the fire and then the man from that day when he looks at his wife the way he looks at her is no longer the same as the moment he saw her. It's no longer the same as the look from that eye point of view. Everything changes. He now looks at his wife and the way he talks with her, he, the way he treats her, he, the way he no longer interested in her. He can't show up, he can't come, he can't do anything. He comes back home at 2 a.m. or he doesn't come back at all. He's just frustrated about it. He don't know there is a word of a case that has been released and that case can only work in the mind. Mm. So his mindset has been affected by the words that when he looks at his wife, he looks at a man. When he looks at a wife, he looks at someone with a problem, someone with issues. So a case is the manifestation of words spoken by one 
that is working through the mind that is my definition of a curse. Okay. Uh, so in such a scenario that uh, a curse is uh, words that are spoken, that it's a manifestation of words spoken through the mind, mm -hmm. like you said, how can one overcome such a scenario? Because me, I was born in a family. I believe everyone is, is every family has a curse. Mm -hmm. that is following it. So mm -hmm. my question is, me I was born inside something that has already been spoken. I've born in such a family that already have got words spoken against it. How can I thrive to make it in life? Or how can I thrive to break such a case for me to be free from such? Okay, there are th three dimensions of cases. I'm not sure which dimension you're talking about. There is a dimension where your spirit can be cursed. My spirit? Yes, not your soul not your physical life, but your spirit. In Africa, there is a doctrine. I was talking to Pastor Benny Hinn just last week in California. I was with him in his studio. And uh, I told him, in Africa, we have pastors with the tendency that they have the audacity to open their mouth and tell you, if you leave me, I'm going to kiss you. You are my spiritual son. And if you try to go somewhere, they will say, mm -mm, you can't go anywhere without me. I will kiss you. And if you truly leave them, they have that audacity to release a word to kiss you. The ministry won't go. Da, 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 da. They actually have prayers that they can gather intercession team and begin to pray. Your church will never be effective. No one will follow you. Everyone will partner with you. We have a dry season. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. But listen to this. When a pastor is releasing a word to kiss you, he's kissing your spirit. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. If you would like to speak to the prophet for a private prophetic session, register for a one-on-one -on -one phone call with him. Please visit prophetpassion.com and click the button that says one-on-one -on, -one on top of the page. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. So how does one know that my spirit is cursed? Mm. Number one, if you cannot pray at least an hour the whole day. Mm. Because Jesus says, Peter, the disciples, why can't you pray at least for an hour? Meaning the minimum time for you to pray in 24 hours is one hour. Number two, how do I know that my spirit is cursed? When God releases a dream in my spirit, I don't remember it when I woke up. When God speaks to me, I don't hear what God is saying. When I want to speak in tongues, I speak in dry tongues or broken tongues. The dry tongues are those tongues that you used to pray with. It becomes a rhythm, not a language to communicate with God. How do I know that my spirit is cursed? My gifts will not operate. I'm gifted to prophesy, but I won't prophesy. I'm gifted to heal the sick, I won't heal the sick. I know 10 years ago I did this. I have a full confirmation of a gift. Why is the gift not working? Your spirit has been cursed. Then we have second level where your soul can be cursed. Your soul now, we are dealing with the mind. The soul is the mind, the will and the emotion. With the mind, you think. With the will, you choose. With the emotion, you act. Now, your actions are determined by that case now. That's when you see someone anointed like the bishop being handsome and single. But that person we have like four, five, ten girls in one week to sleep with. How can a man like a great bishop like him go around and do things like that? It's because someone's mind can be cursed. Once it's cursed, it, 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 it gets what we call sickness where you can actually be sick. You can't go for three days without having sex with someone. You can be sexually sick, or you can be uh, pornography sick, where you, you, are, you, you, you are attached to watch pornography. So what that case is doing now is it steals your time. Instead of having time to pray, you have time to talk to 10, 15 girls. Instead of uh, uh, having time to study, you don't have time to study, but you are on pornography. Uh, watching videos for three hours, four hours, 
uh, and many people are affected in the case of the soul because the soul deals with how you are thinking is the mindset uh, I, I was sharing with someone and I said that the anti-marriage demon does not have more power than the anti-marriage person there is someone who is an anti-marriage demon that person it's a demon causing her not to be married but then there's someone who is, an, who is just an anti-marriage person. The way she thinks and talks around the guy who wants to marry her will make the guy run away. Why? Because the mind, the soul, has been cursed. Once your soul is cursed, the way you think is off. What is not normal with people become normal with you. Uh, instant, we were all talking to the young man that someone opened his door and said, leave in my house. And, 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 and the wife brings breakfast, bread and eggs. Says, why you bring me eggs only? Go back and put some cheese and some bacon in there. And he's checking his feet on top of the glass table. Now, it's only that we, we, we're talking, you can't, but no, I only ask it more for cheese. To, to him, it's normal. Mainly because the, 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 the mindset Yes, to be renewed by the transformation that takes place through the word of God. That is why now we have people that are delivered. The demon is cutted out from them. But the mind. So you need to keep going to church so that you can be delivered in your knower. That is in your knowledge. Then we have the last case which is in the flesh. The case of the flesh deals with your physical being. And you see people that just hit the wall. They are walking, they, 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 they have a new shoe, they, 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 they hit rocks when they walk. They, 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 they just cross themselves and they fall down. Those are people with flu. They catch cold from January to December. They are always, hmm, somebody is scared. They have sores in their body. Every time you see them, they're scratching. They have pimples all over their body. They, they, they are all scratching. They're always itching. You, you buy them a suit today, and next Sunday when you see them on church, you ask them, why didn't you buy, put on the suit I bought for you last week? And you say, this is the suit you bought for me last week. <laughs> Those are people that when they go into the bathroom or the shower room and they shower, when they come out, they're still smelling their armpit. When they brush their teeth, they are still smelling. Somebody released their cast in their life, in their physical life. Those are people that if they put a hairstyle, you would think, oh, this, the, uh, the, this hairstyle has been there for three weeks or three months or three years. Those are the same people that when they put makeup, you, 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 you'll be confused, do they think? Were they not looking at the mirror? Uh, something is wrong in their flesh, in, in their physical being. Those are people that catch HIV without anyone sleeping there. When doctors prove you are still a virgin, yes, but uh, the, there's a razor. Uh, they, they have to find a reason to tell you this is how you got it. Oh, it was a needle that, that poked somebody with HIV, then poked you. Um, somebody cursed you right about there. So what I have with everybody now is that people should understand that there are three types of cases now. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. To invite Prophet Passion to your church, please visit ProfitPassion.com and scroll down to the blue button that says, Invite Prophet Passion. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. A family case does not operate in your spirit. A family case does not operate in your flesh. The only way a family case can flow from one generation to another is through a mindset. That is why God says to Abraham, come out from your country and come out from your father's house. It doesn't make sense. Once you say come out from your country, automatically I will leave the house because my house is in the country. So why then is God say come out from your father's house? because the house is also a mindset. The soul is the house. That's why when demons that live in your soul, when they're casted out, Jesus says, they will look for more seven spirits and come back and say, let me check my house. 
which is the mind. So uh, when God says, come out from your father's house, he's saying, come out from your father's mindset. The, the way your father was thinking, the way your mother, your, your father chose your mother is the same way you chose your wife. Your father is an Uber driver, you're an Uber driver. Your father is, is a teacher, you're a teacher in accounting, you're an accountant. Your father divorced two times, you are also about to divorce for the second time. Why? You are still in the same mentality of your father. Now, the, 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 that case operates through the mindset. That's why a child in the womb is already poor. Because poverty is a mindset. Born poor, not broke, but poor. Because poverty is a mindset. So there are people now that are having a generational curse. The auntie, the grandmother, the grand-grandmother, we were just in Deben prophesying to that family. Yeah. The mother was present, no marriage. The grandmother, no marriage. The grand-grandmother, no marriage. Yeah, daughter, no marriage. Why? It's a tribal curse that is operating through the mind. It is in the soul realm. I prophesied to a lady in Jamaica. She has five kids, all of them, they are different fathers. And the fifth one, she was raped. And I said, you are also number five in your family. She says, yes. And says, your mother was raped. You don't even know your, your father. And she says, yes. Who is with your mother right now? Mother is not married. What about grandmother? Grandmother, no marriage. What about you? No marriage. Why? It's a tribal case that is running through the soul. That is why they have proven that when a child is in the mind, the child, the, when the child is in the womb, the child is not working with his or her mind, but using the thoughts of the mother and the breath of the mother and the food from the mother. That's why everything is transferred to the womb before anything else takes place. So people, you have to understand that um, cases can be broken. If you understand that your family has a case, the only way to break out of it, number one, Jesus is the blessing that breaks the case. Which level in your spirit? You cannot break the case in your mind. Impossible. Jesus cannot enter in your heart if you are lazy and cause you to start be a work harder. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Jesus is not going to come to somebody with a mindset of, uh, of uh, sleeping around and, and because Jesus is now in your spirit, inside of you, then you say, ah, no, from now I've changed. No, the Bible says you should be, wake out your own salvation with the trembling and fear. After the salvation of Christ, you also have your own salvation because they are things that God cannot break, but you have to break yourself. Uh, maybe you need to go on my website, prophetperson.com, and register on a one-on-one -on -one platform, which I pray for people over the phone. Whatever case you have, I can pray with you and break it. Uh, I don't know if I answer you well. Thank you, Dick. Let me go back to the example that you gave about a woman who would go to a sun woman. Yes. And then go on, a on, the, on the four-way. And then sit. Um, there's a scripture that says, a case without a cause yes. will not stand. Mm -hmm. And my question comes back to the woman who, this woman takes her feces, put on the picture <coughs> and says, you will not get married or you, your husband will despise you. When your husband sees you, he will smell you. He won't want to be close to you. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, let's say this woman does that and this woman is a, child, a child of God. God. Does this case have a power on this woman? Of course. Because the woman can't be cursed because she's in Christ. But the men can be cursed. Stay tuned. You are watching the Prophetic Hour. Do you want to hear God? To receive prophetic impartation, please register today for our prophetic school, also found under ProfitPassion.com under Schools. Welcome back. You are watching the Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. Why is he being cast? He may be a Christian, but he has opened a door. 
of adultery and the devil uses a legal ground. Without a legal ground, the devil can curse. The devil can curse me, he can't touch me. I'm anointed and because I'm anointed, I'm slippery so he can't touch me, right? But once I go outside of my assignment, of my calling, outside of God, uh, the devil is going to find me there. So who is being cursed is not the woman, but the man. His thoughts, when he looks at his wife, when he looks at his beautiful partner, he ain't going to see that beauty. He's going to see a problem. So when he communicates with his wife, they are not going to share anything else now. He's going to be rough, rude, talking one word when he's getting the house, rarely in the house, but when he's in the house, whether watching TV, reading the newspaper, or on WhatsApp. Why? Because his mindset has been affected. So if the man is the one cursed, mm -hmm. um, can that particular case that you just explained go to the son that is carried? but also you might end up being affected by the same case that was previously Well, there, there is a personal case and there is a family case. This one is in the realm of a personal case because the, 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 they are calling the name of that man specifically, right? But then there is a case uh, that can flow in the family. Someone can speak words, for example, there is a lady I was praying for and I says, you need to forgive, then God will heal you. And says, no, I don't have any problem. I says, you need to go back to 11 years ago. What did you say when your husband left you? And she started crying and says, I said, he will never have children. With this next woman, he will never be happy. He will never, he will never, he will never. Your words and your tears will follow his blood. He may have kids, but those kids will be followed by the same words and those tears. And the kids to come, and the kids to come, and the kids to come. And someone will be saying, we are in Christ, how can a curse work? Jesus did not die on the cross to break a curse. He died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sin. When he was on the cross, he declared the tribal curse. He said, don't cry for me, but cry for yourselves and your children and your children's children, even those that are not born. Because of what you did to me, you took a curse. So weep for yourselves, weep for your children and children. It's a generational curse on the cross. I don't know if you follow. So many people don't understand that there's a difference between a curse and a sin. Jesus can remove your sins, forgive your sins, wash away all your sins, but when it comes to a curse, it's totally different. One last uh, question before we close and pray for everybody that's watching us right now. My question is, to those who are listening right now, Yes. Uh, those who are watching, as you are listening to what you're saying right now, I'm sure there are some people are going through the same what you're saying to, to you right now. I, I know there are some people that are having what they call spiritual husbands. Some they can't sleep at night. They are having demonic activities in their dreams. And uh, some people uh, uh, just can't be married for no reason. And some people, they just can't stay long at a job. Uh, some, it's just something always coming up, uh, if that's what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, so my question, I don't know, can I put it as a question or... Mm -hmm. As a, I don't know what can I put it along, but my is like um, how can they reach you? Or oh, I understand one of your teachings. You're saying it it takes um, an outer to break another outer. I I, I actually have a book about that, uh, how to break outers, generational cases and outers. It's on my website, prophetpassion.com. So let's say I'm going through maybe the spiritual wives or spiritual husband and. I have, a, I, have a, I have an out that I feel that is in my family that needs to be broken. Mm -hmm. How can I go about it? How can I get to you in order for this case to be broken? Because many people, they've been going to one man of God after another, but mm -hmm. still nothing is changing. Still, they are one and same thing. Well, we have what we call um, uh, a demon played in has to be a demon played out. We have a demon played in and a demon 
played in has to be played out. You cannot come in the name of Jesus, come out, come out, fire, fire, fire. No. And someone will be wondering why we have this fire, it's just a decoration. But what, what, what brings you to a specific place is this. You have to understand that demon played in has to be played out. And also you have to understand that an outer has to be destroyed with another outer. You don't destroy outers with prayer. We, 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 we met a man, I introduced him to the man, he is now a man of God. I delivered him, he was a satanist, his name is Nyandoro. A lot of people on my YouTube, they know him. We, we had a live session, he was confessing things that he did as a satanist. And one of the things that he said that I want to call today is, he said when we wanted to take blood, we caused accidents. I said, how? They said, we went into the main roads in specific locations and we would build an altar and spill blood, blood of animals, be it a cow, be it a lamb, be it whatever, and you speak words. When people are driving, definitely they are going to have accidents at that specific time. And they said, mainly we cause a lot of accidents done January and December, between December and January, those two months, mainly because they make sacrifice for the whole year. So they need human blood. And as they were speaking those words, what he was saying was, you cannot come as a Christian on that place and begin to bind spirits. You can never bind a spirit because a spirit is a spirit. Spirits can be, you, you, you can't bind them. Binding from what? They, we, we lack knowledge when we bind. But it needs an outer to break an outer. So they said, we know that we will be taking blood from that place for years to come. Stay tuned. You are watching The Prophetic Hour. We have a free book for you titled How to Conquer Water Spirits by Prophet Passion. To download our latest books and find books for free, please visit ProfitPassion.com and click the button on top that says Store. Welcome back. You are watching The Prophetic Hour with Prophet Passion. How? Because no Christian ever rose up to build altars, to destroy altars that are placed there by Satanists. It takes an altar to break an altar. Now, how can we build an altar in these days when we cannot go do like Moses and Abraham, a man of God becomes your altar? That when you take your lamp, which is your money these days, or whatever is of value to you, you can put it on him as your altar and he speaks words over you. As I'm speaking prophetic words, apostolic declarations over you today, you may have been going through demonic oppression, depression, possession. I'm just here to say your freedom is now because God is taking you to another dimension. He says, come out from the yoke of the enemy. Every yoke of your family, every yoke of your tribe, every family yoke is being broken. And Jehovah God is opening forth a new special blessing over your life. It takes a blessing to break a curse, but a curse can never break a blessing. Once you cross to the blessed side, your life will never be the same again. And I'm just here to say God loves you and there is no demon, there is no curse that can hold you. All things are possible if you can just believe. Jesus is ready to make you free. What can we say to a few words as we are called closing now? Uh, what, 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 what I can actually say is, people, I know many people, they despise the issue of being told that I should erect an outer. American churches to break it but you find that i find that most of christians and most of people especially here in africa and some parts of the world they go to the sangomas mm -hmm. and they do the same but now the problem is because the men of god they say i can't do this mm -hmm. but what i can tell our people that are watching right now it's an encouragement yes that you need to listen to what god is saying in order for you to be vindicated because what you're going through been going through this for past years yes. but this is a time 
for your redemption. That's why God is sending this message to you. Thank Amen. you. Um, like what you're saying, there is the law of gravity. Mm -hmm. And just because you don't believe in the law of gravity doesn't mean it won't affect you. Mm. So if you go on top of the building and you jump and you say, I don't believe, you you're still going to fall. Mm -hmm. So there are some people who are there who believe uh, there are no such thing as case. Cases are real. Cases and are real. This is a subject um, that I think you, you have helped people mm -hmm. in touching and it's something that people need to hear is something that can change people. You may not believe it, but cases are real. And I would say to everybody watching us today, with all the gift you have, with all the talent you have, with all the skill you have, and all the experience you have acquired over the years, why are you still where you are? You don't have a house at your edge. You don't have a car of your own at your edge. You don't have something tangible, why? Look at people who are twice younger than you, what they have achieved and what I have you achieved. You should not believe that their case is or not. You should just look at yourself and see that something needs deliverance. Something needs to be broken. You are watching me now and you know what I'm talking about and you know I'm talking to you. Something has been holding you. It's like people are using you to make money but you don't have money. Everybody who passes through you, they become great, but you are not great. Why? Something is holding you. And I'm here to offer myself to be a blessing to you, help you on a one-on-one -on -one program that you can register on my website, prophetpassion.com. I'll be praying for you. I'll be delivering thee. For the Lord God is with you. Until then, keep on keeping on, and God is going to take you higher and higher. This is Prophet Israel on my right and Bishop Joshua on my left and I the Gaffer Prophet Pastor signing out today. God bless you. Amen bless. and Shalom. I hope you've been blessed by this wonderful message and powerful prophetic. Your patronage blesses many souls around the world. To give or to partner with Prophet Passion Ministries, please visit ProfitPassion.com and click the button that says give. 